Hello, hello, good day everyone and welcome to this new live session of Axel Tech On Air. Welcome everyone who is following us from uh, all over the world. As usual, we have um, people connected from uh, Asia, America, uh, Europe of course, Africa, Middle East, so good day to everyone connected. I'm Simona Lippi, I'm part of the Axel Tech sales team and I'm here today with Enrico Vaccari. Who Hi. Is Hi everybody, I'm the, Enrico. <laughs> the head of our sales team department. So uh, today we are going to, um, to give you an overview of our uh, tuning uh, yeah. Yeah, family, <laughs> okay, yeah. products. Um, so uh, Enrico, just uh, in order to uh, warm uh, a little bit the, the yeah. session. Uh, first of all, I want to recall to all the people that is uh, already connected that if you have any questions, any doubt, anything uh, you want to ask to me or um, Enrico, you can just click on the bell here below at your right, here above, sorry, at your right, and uh, uh, we will receive your um, questions, questions uh, live. Okay, we are also on Facebook, so you are welcome to send any question from the uh, Facebook live chat also. Uh, so please uh, let us have uh, your feedbacks about this uh, live event. Okay, so Enrico, just to give an idea of the subject of this uh, live, can you please uh, just clarify uh, which are actually our tuner uh, products, so Lynx and Puma, what they do, and uh, uh, let's say who can be the ideal customer who might need to use them. Okay. Again, good morning everybody. So today we are going to talk to you about the, the two products that are here ne next to me. We're talking about our FM tuner uh, range of products. Uh, we have Lynx and, and we have Puma. Uh, today presentation is something for non-engineers, so mm -hmm. as we are from the yes, sales department. Course. So uh, let's start with the links, which okay. is probably the most, uh, let's say, uh, easy. easy product uh, for in our FM tuner range and category. Okay. So the, the links is a, a broadcast quality tuner. So of course it provides uh, top quality in terms of uh, receptions on uh, the FM tuner, which is built in into the equipment. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's typically designed for any radio station. Uh, that, uh, as usually, needs to listen to its own signal, but as well to competitor or you know other stations okay. on the FM spectrum. And uh, the added value of these uh, links is that on top of a tip traditional tuner features, it provides some. Let me. I will show you later okay. some very some nice add-on add add features. Okay. Some information that you cannot achieve with the. Uh, even high quality, uh, let me say, professional FM tuner okay. uh, for studio. So it's more than a tuner, actually. Yeah, it's definitely, yes. Okay. And uh, the, the, the other product we are talking about in the next minute, it's Puma. And uh, Puma, it's not just uh, an FM tuner, it's a tuner intended for rebroadcasting. So uh, the difference between Lynx and Puma is that Puma is typically used at the transmitting site and uh, provide uh, the MPX output to re-inject the signal into the transmitters for rebroadcasting. Okay, so can you please clarify uh, to our uh, followers today yeah. uh, where they can place uh, a, a Lynx or uh, a Puma in their premises? Okay, so talking about the Lynx, uh, it typi it's typically installed at the control desk uh, in a radio station, depending on the size and the architecture of mm -hmm. a radio station can be connected at the studio side, but as well in the technical room. Okay. And the links, uh, while the Puma for rebroadcasting, as I said, it's typically it's installed at the transmitting site, near the transmitter. Uh, while going back to links, uh, links is normally installed in a technical room and can be very used for distribution of uh, the received tune mm -hmm. signal and frequency all over the the, stu the, the, the station okay uh, it, it can be connected uh, through the io port available uh, to a routing switcher in any case it can deliver the received signal to 
multiple studios uh, okay. for listening, direct live listening, but as well for um, signal monitoring, signal analysis, okay. let me say. So if the radio com has, uh, let's say, the technical engineers uh, able to do some analysis of the signal, as well, links provide they those features it. and okay. allows you also not only to listen, but also to measure and evaluate the quality of your transmission. Okay, so um, before you already uh, told us that uh, actually both products are more than a normal tuner. So yes, sure. what can they actually do more than a normal tuner? Okay, let me switch uh, and we start talking about the product. Uh, I would like to show you what we have starting from our web page. Uh, uh, from the website uh, www.actualtechnology, sure. of course, .com. you will be able to collect all the information we are talking about today. And let me first switch, and this is already an, something not ordinary, yeah. to the user interface of the links. So, since links is uh, based on uh, in built in inside the, the, the links and Puma as well, we do have a, actually an uh, operative system running. Mm -hmm. So we can take advantage of uh, this technology that, uh, as a very first uh, uh, advantage, provide us a nice web uh, interface. Okay. So now what I have on the screen next to me is the links uh, user interface from the web. Of course, with the links, you can operate straight from the control panel. Okay. So with the encoder and rotating the knob uh, on top, yeah. browsing the menu. But as well, and this is very practical, when we said uh, that uh, links can be installed in the technical room, so you don't have to be in front in of, the, the, in front of okay. the device. And you can control the, the unit from uh, the web interface. So uh, the, web user, the web interface shows you basically already what are the added features. Mm -hmm. The very first thing you can see is that together with the frequency, and we can easily change the frequency and tune to a different radio station. The user interface also shows you information about audio. Okay. So when the audio is received and demodulated, it does analysis of the audio. Okay. Not only about the RF signal and the MPX. And here you see all the levels, peak, RMS, left and right, levels, carrier, path, and all those information together with MPX, audio pilot, RDS. And this is just a dashboard that shows you the main information, not only about the signal, but about the di data as well. Mm -hmm. So RDS, uh, links operate in the entire full FM range. So from uh, 87.5 up to 108 megahertz and uh, it does all those measurements, but not only, let me go deep inside, I can just open the menu here. Yep, sorry. And uh, if I dig into the data of RDS, mm -hmm. I can also see the alternative frequencies. So we can, it does a very uh, powerful analysis of RDS uh, services. Okay. And when it comes to AF, here you see the alternative frequencies and you see the groups. And I can go straight to the very last page where we do have the uh, real time RDS analysis streams with groups, errors, and so okay. on. So a so really wide spectrum of uh, data and uh, analysis. Yeah. So okay. what you can appreciate from a links is that uh, normally those values, these kind of mm -hmm. parameters and information, you can achieve them only using advanced monitoring devices okay. that most of the time are very, very technical. So, or you are an engineer uh, or let's say it's not easy to use mm, yeah. while from this easy and simple um, dashboard, yeah. it's you can immediately accessible. Yeah, and have an idea about your FM signal. Okay. Not only, uh, it also uh, provides some alarms and alerts. So as you see in the front panel next to me, we have a red light, light okay. on. 
now this unit is not connected to the input. Um, what I'm showing you on the yeah, screen, it's another, it's another device connected on our network. The unit I have next to me here does not have yeah, any not connected any signal. Okay. And so it shows you, you have alert. Those alert can be also uh, trigger a GPO. So eventually you can, there's a relay that can be connected to your systems in order to uh, get alarms and eventually take action for okay. uh, to repair if or to restore. Occurs. Okay, I see. So can uh, you also clarify which are the inputs and the outputs of uh, each unit? Yeah, okay. First of all, it's a tuner. So we do have, uh, as I said at the beginning, a very high quality RF tuner built in. So mm -hmm. we have the RF antenna input. input. Then we have the um, uh, analog, of course, balanced audio analog output. And again, this is something not very uh, available on the market in professional or consumer devices. Mm -hmm. We also do have AES output. Okay. Not only, it also does streaming over the network. So uh, as you see here on the desk, on the interface, yeah. it shows me the audio that is received and we are streaming over the network so we can deliver the signal to other uh, users uh, or mm, several users can connect at the same time to listen to the uh, to the stage to the tune okay. frequency I see. and uh, so talking about input and output as i said uh, recap it's we have a streaming of the output uh, for internal monitoring purposes. Mm -hmm. We do have the analog balanced uh, on XLR and uh, digital AES again on a, as uh, XLR. Okay. Not only, th since uh, as I said at the beginning, the internal engine is based on an advanced uh, OS, we do have some of those features that comes with the te that technology. Uh, of course, network, uh, the network, LAN connection, so an RJ45, mm -hmm both for monitoring and control. Uh, not only, we have the operative system which is uh, saved on top on SD card. Okay. So in case of a failure, if, or okay. if I need to save a configuration, the backup of the of machine, the unit. I can just uh, remove the okay. SD card, plug it back in, and that's very useful for backup, as I said, or to clone the unit. Of course. So let me say I need to clone it and repair or for yes, maintenance or you have purposes. multiple units, uh, you need to so have the same uh, in any uh, case, setup. Setup is always very, very easy okay. because in turn under the, the cover, we do have the same power we find in other advanced monitoring system we do okay. from Excel technology. Uh, the scope of links is to keep things high hand, but very, very, simple. very simple and easy to use. I see. Not and only, sorry, yeah. last, uh, the GPO, G general purpose output with okay. the relay. As I said, you can also see the GPO status here on top of the user's interface to notify uh, alarms. Okay, so we pretty much said everything about links. What's more, uh, what, what are the add-ons in uh, the Puma unit? Okay, switching to Puma, we, we move into a different domain. Mm -hmm. So we're now talking about uh, rebroadcasting. So while on one hand links is mainly intended for to receive and listen what's on air, uh, Puma is used for rebroadcasting. So and now we step into a much more, uh, let's say, developed uh, unit. Uh, you can start, you can see, ex um, let's say what I'm saying, you can follow what I'm saying, just switching to the user interface. Okay. So Everything I was talking about, about uh, links, uh, mm -hmm. of course, is available within on the Puma, on the Puma spe especially when it comes to mm, analysis of the signal. Mm -hmm. Here with Puma, we really have plenty, plenty, and I think you can find a huge list of uh, measurement uh, okay. uh, on our website. I don't want to go through these, no, these details. Course. I'm not the right As person. As we already <laughs> said, we are not technicians, okay? We are here just to give you an yeah. overview of the, so, of the products. Let me sort things out. First, Puma received FM signals, mm -hmm. and the first information is that it comes with an MPX output to 
for rebroadcasting to okay. inject the signal into a transmitter, okay. FM transmitter. Second, uh, the Puma provide, allows you to tune eventually multiple frequencies. Mm -hmm. in internally, you can save presets and okay. to, to memorize different frequencies in, for different applications. Uh, the range of measurement, it's really, really, really huge. Okay. Uh, third, since it also includes advanced monitoring features, uh, it comes with the SNMP mm -hmm. protocol, V2. So this is uh, typically used to integrate the Puma into large architecture with uh, NMS, with Network Management System. Okay. So Puma, it's ready to be integrated for networks or big organizations mm -hmm. or big stations uh, spread all over the territory to do rebroadcasting, of course, and also integrate over ne internet mm -hmm. into the uh, NMS. So okay. uh, let's say at the end, Puma combines rebroadcasting feature together with monitoring, monitoring advanced okay. monitoring system. So what while we could suggest uh, the links uh, to almost every, every, every radio, okay, Correct. Puma is focused for bigger organizations or at least radios that already are familiar with or, or want to start yeah. with the uh, monitoring. Um, yeah. It's okay. related to transmission, so of course okay. It's for someone who needs to rebroadcast, re-inject its own signal. Um, another important feature is the same web, similar web interface. In Puma, we do have, in addition, also user management. Okay. So you can lock the machine, save resets, mm -hmm. uh, provide uh, rights, uh, user rights. I think we have a question in the meanwhile. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. use user right management, so you can allow eventually um, people allowed to do modification, okay. uh, change the settings. Uh, with Puma, there's also a very comprehensive uh, section related to alarms, uh, where you, for every specific parameters, you can set okay. uh, thresholds you levels. You can set up an yeah. alarm, a specific alarm. Okay, Timing so. uh, to, um, for notification of those alarms. And of course, everything runs through SNMP. Okay, so that's when you clear. Specifically, when we had a lot of installation with uh, multiple units spread all over the territory, so with via of SNMP, course, it's, it's very, it's useful very to easy to, uh, to recall both the information, collect information, but also set the parameters on remote uh, machines. So okay, so let's come to the questions. Uh, thank you, Paul, for sending the first question question of the day. So, can both Lynx and Puma trigger in some way the missing FM? Yes, yeah, so we have, as said in the, in the Lynx, uh, as you see, low FM or missing FM. It can uh, generate, uh, g in, in Lynx, it can generate a GP with a GPO. It, it provides a relay to take some action to restore or to run some backup systems. Okay. Uh, with Puma, in addition, you also have SNMP. So I would say yes, if in case of missing FM, they can detect it and they can trigger some action in order to reestablish or at least notify what's going on. Okay, so the answer is yes, the they can both, they can both uh, yeah, do it, that. It's, this is kind of, in terms of analysis and alarms, it's limited when it comes to Linux uh, to, those, to the parameters you see here on the front. So okay, low so RF, low audio, and RDS error. So it does analysis of the services okay. and uh, it can, you, you can, for all of those parameters, you can set uh, the threshold, of course, and the time to trigger the alarm. So okay. this is what comes with the links with Puma. I don't, I don't know even how to browse into the yeah, menu too, too, too as said, but I think... Too many details. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Correct. Uh, anyway, please, if you have any further questions at the technical level, uh, we are always available. So you can forward all your doubts to our sales at exceltechnology.com address. Yeah. And then we will be back with uh, the answer from our technicians. I would so, say that okay. I think I forgot to talk about the most important uh, features and it's related to price. 
in this specific yeah, no, it, it period. Was, it was my, my last question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you spoiled it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it was easy to imagine since we are both sales, sales guys. <laughs> so what about the price for this uh, unit? Okay, typically the list price for Lynx, it mm -hmm. comes around uh, 990 euro, while it's 1,700 euro for, for the, the Puma. Puma since those products are really top of the line in their own category. Uh, I think I also forgot to, to spend a few words about the tuner. Uh, since I said at the beginning, it, specifically for Puma, it's normally installed at the transmitting site. Mm -hmm. It's uh, designed to operate with stable measurement and value, also in an environment with very, very f strong field RF field. Okay. So, the, it's absolutely extremely stable and uh, it grants that measurements are always working perfectly. So you will never get, uh, let's say, uh, okay, false alarms, alarm. false alarms <laughs> okay. and things like that. Going back to the, the price, as yes. I said, list start, it was uh, 900 and something yeah. for Lynx, uh, 1,700 for Puma. Yes, but... but, but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have, um, uh, long, uh, first of all, both of them are ready for deliver. Yeah. Uh, because we have a they large are ready production. To go in our warehouse. Immediate, immediate delivery. And uh, I believe it's better you talk to our, you know, you connect through our sales department or resellers or yeah. local agent because yeah. we are running a very, 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 very uh, interesting uh, um, special price promotion. Uh, and okay. promotion in this So according, time. of course, to the numbers of uh, units you might need uh, or, well, yeah, it's Well, let's say we are Italian, not very familiar with Black Friday. That's not no. part of our... Uh, <laughs> not, not that much, but... <laughs> not tradition, you know. <laughs> but on the other hand, we are still doing our best to provide special prices. We did, a, uh, we produced a large number We've been able to cut our production cost. Uh, this is the main reason why in, at this specific time mm -hmm. we are able to provide the same unit at a very, very nice price. Very competitive price. Very well. So I think we clarified uh, anything yeah. about these, uh, these products. So please, if you have any further question or doubt, or of course, if you need a, uh, an offer, for uh, these units, you can write uh, an email or you can call us uh, at any time. Okay. The address uh, is the usual one, so sales at exceltechnology.com. Yeah. And uh, both me, Enrico, and uh, uh, our colleagues, Ilaria Marucelli and uh, Cristiano Cinelli, will be more than glad to answer to uh, any request. Yeah. And also, let me add Stefano Grego, yeah, who course. organized uh, yes. again today Thank you, Stefano. this and presentation. Thanks to Gianluca, which is our director of <laughs> these uh, on-air sessions. So thanks, everyone, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>